Hey everybody, it's Ben and Rob from Edge of Wonder. We have a really important question today. Why do mysterious apparitions appear in smoke and other places, and why do they look like faces? Yeah, I mean, we all gazed at the clouds as children. When we saw animals, X-Men, Ninja Turtles, other, other shapes, maybe even spaceships. But certain photographs taken by professionals go beyond anthropomorphizing something natural. <laughs> so do these photos taken from space and from disaster sites and more actually expose the existence of other worldly beings? Well, judge for yourself after this Edge of Wonder episode whether the spiritual and paranormal nature of things appear to leak into our world. We'll see you out on the edge. Hey, Ben. Hey, Rob. Hey, everybody out there. If you're listening to the Edge of Wonder podcast on Spotify, the Apple podcast, anywhere, if you could, please leave us a five-star rating and review to help us reach even more people. And of course, if you're on a video platform, please like, follow, and subscribe, whether you're on YouTube, Rumble, Ganjing World, Twitter, Facebook, anywhere. We'd really appreciate that. All right. <laughs> Weird evil faces and other faces and stuff. Cool. Yeah, there, there's some good things we're going to be talking about, too. But, you know, like with, with everything going on with 9-11, I mean, every, everyone's kind of covering it from, you know, every standpoint known to man. And I, I think pretty much we're all, for the most part, aware of what happened, you know, we've kind of covered 9-11 like many times. Um, yeah. Yeah. Show. Yeah, actually, my brother was telling me about a documentary he was watching, and there was a firefighter who couldn't understand how um, the only thing that he could find that was a complete piece was a um, phone, like a phone dial pad from like an actual phone. But that was the largest piece that he could find throughout all the rubble of what? Anything of 9-11 of anything, hmm. meaning like. Something's not adding up <laughs> because yeah. if it just collapsed, you should find like a whole bunch of chairs, desks. I mean, everything known to man that was in the building. That's there, weird. There was nothing. There's so many weird things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah. I, anyway, we all know. like, But was the reason why this came crazy. up is because there was some strange faces in the smoke on 9-11, wasn't there? There was, and a lot of people, a lot of the media right now are trying to debunk things, saying that these weren't real or, you know, they were added later. And actually, that's not true. Um, these images that you're seeing are 100% legit. And we're going to get into the biggest one that was published everywhere all over the world. Um, it was Mark phillips's photo and um let's see i think Lindsay's gonna which one's that ben uh it, you can pull up i'll tell you what pull up that second one first yeah that one oh, yeah this this is the photo that was published by mark phillips um he was a professional photographer he was in new york at the time and uh, someone just put that mask there on the on the left to kind of like show but um, and there's there's multiple um, and it's been published everywhere. And right now it's weird because Snopes didn't really like if you go on Snopes looking at this image, it, it first it shows another image and it, and it actually has like an archived like it just says this site has been archived or something. So it doesn't really tell you one way or the other if it's real or, or not real. And it shows a first of, of like a photo of 9-11 and the smoke and everything else. And then with that photo, it's like, oh, you know, some have been manipulated and it just shows that photo. But it doesn't say whether that photo or not has been manipulated. Well, what's interesting is that on Mark Phillips. So he sold that photo to AP and that photo was on the front page of multiple, multiple um, uh, images and actually. This is really interesting because he uh, can you bring that up, Lindsay? It's OK if it has his watermark. It just means it was a pop up. Oh, yeah. OK. 
So this photo on the right, I think he took in, oh, when was it? And he said, okay, because he's talking about COVID. So I think that photo on the right was probably either 2020 or 2021. Oh, 2020, September of 2020. And at first they were going to, they, they were saying that they were going to cancel the 9-11 um, ceremony thing because of COVID. And then it decided to shine like, oh, um, do the memorial yeah being the light and the, for the memorial and everything but mark was saying this is the first time ever that he noticed on the right that when the light was going up it was like it just seemed to kind of co collect in, in the clouds and so he called it the hand of god so to him he wanted to show the contrast between these photos where it's like the face of satan in the hand of god <laughs> and um and he states on his official website so that that's where um, you know some of these were actually posted. I think one of them was in the New York Times. I know newspapers all over the world were posting it on the first the front page, and he literally states on his website that um, that th this this was a legit photo that he did not manipulate it any way, shape, or form. That he took the photo and he didn't really realize. Um, that uh, what he had and and then later news media was saying that it was fake and um and he had to go through a lot of uh a, a, so much stuff to try to prove that this photo that he took was actually real why did ap buy it and yeah. and post it and why did everybody put it everywhere if it's not real like well yeah i guess they bought it and then they then like you know weeks later they came back and was just like oh wait a minute you know that maybe this photo is fake and blah 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 and he said he had to approach olympus cameras and have them verify the authenticity of the digital capture i have oh he never sold the image to the public until now okay i'm sorry but everyone was using it i guess i don't know if he sold it or they're just like using it or whatever but um uh anyway yeah so 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 the point is, is that he had to go through so much stuff and so much crap to even contacting yeah. olympus cameras and say hey i need you to, to you know to prove that this photo is real and not manipulated in any way shape or form and it's not so it, it's it's well, so clear you know, a lot of people do call this like pareidolia you know Mm -hmm. Did I pronounce that right? Uh, where it's like the human eye, basically the human eye and the brain essentially make you think that something is there when it's actually not. Right. Right. It's, OK, so here it is. Um, like, like, yeah, like you, you're you know, you look at. Yeah, but, but know, you look this, at something. Read this. It looks like a light so switch. It's the tendency for perception to impose a meaningful interpretation on a nebulous stimulus, usually visual, so that one sees an object pattern or meaning where there is none. Like this alone, this, I have a, I have a lot of problem with this word to begin with because mm. this word actually was born out of science and superstition. Mm -hmm. Like this idea that, that nothing is real, but, but matter and mind are like one thing in my, in my understanding. So when, when you're seeing something somewhere, it doesn't mean it's not manifesting in the multiverse somewhere. I mean, even science can't unprove that. So they can't prove it. They can't unprove it. So I don't think it's simple when you see an image appearing somewhere. Usually if an image is appearing somewhere, it's giving you a hint of what's behind that thing potentially, mm -hmm. you know? So and I'm not saying that that's the case in every case, but, you know, it is kind of strange that the moment he snapped that photo, there was like a creepy face in there. And there was more than one, right? right? There was, there was just more, one. yeah, m multiple faces in, in these 9-11 photos. There, there was a video, too. And, I, I, you know, my gosh, like trying to find these. I remember when, when all this was happening, 
I mean, this stuff was like, I don't know. I don't even know how we are finding it. I mean, we, we, you know, you, you just email each other stuff and like emails go around, you know, that, that was kind of like the beginning things of. Yeah. And you email and you tell people what you found in person. Yeah. You saw people in person. Yeah. The, and then like there were Internet forms like that. The one like John Titter, the, 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 the so-called future. Watch your mouth, Ben. It's John Titter. Titer, Titter, whatever his name is. But, um, you know, it's like there, there were these there was definitely these Internet forums and uh, that, that we would always go on. And w- one of my best friends uh, at the time, actually, when this happened, um, he was like a pretty big hacker at the time. And um, believe it or not, he actually had like a real hacker. Or yeah, like, pretty, pretty much a real like, hacker. Like one I mean, of the hackers, like the movie hacker. Um, that movie actually inspired him to become a hacker. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> such we saw, a, that's we such saw a bad story. origin story. Yeah, I know it really <laughs> is. Uh, because at the time it was just like, wow. And he got really into computers around this time and then um, literally became like a kind of like a hacker. And uh, I, I remember um, because we were living together at the time when all this was going on. And it was like, by this point, I think it was 2002. And he's like, yeah, dude. I actually have Bin Laden's phone number. I was like, "What?" <laughs> he's like, people hacked into the yeah. to the system, and uh, yeah, he, he's like, he's got a satellite phone, and we actually like you, they could pinpoint the location of where he was. Dude, but did they prank him? Oh, um, the, we try. The I think they, they tried would. calling him, but I, I was like, by that point, you know, they, like, he's gonna ditch that phone. You know, that was super dumb idea. Anyway, like the CIA or the FBI would be all over that. They would know. Yeah, I mean, that's why, you know, but but it was just so funny because I'm I'm like, dude, if if like hackers can figure out where bin Laden is like, you know, this should be pretty easy for the military. And then we were like, then all of a sudden, you know, it was I mean, now we we know things a lot differently. But, um, you know, it's like it it was originally reported he was in Afghanistan. And then all of a sudden it's like we're going to Iraq. I'm like, if he's going if he's in Afghanistan, why are we going to Iraq? (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah all the crazy stuff and then you know of course everything starts coming out during that time and uh but I, I, honestly i i would definitely say i mean i was already aware of what was going on but 9 11 to me was my massive red pill watching it all unfold in real time i think that's when it really really hit me and it, it just that's what really brought me down. The Matrix and 9-11 were the two things that kind of changed my perception. <laughs> that was Ben's origin story. It really kind of is. <laughs> Ben's superhero story. Revolver. Yeah, because after The Matrix, I, I, I was reading David Icke. <laughs> it was like the year 2000. And then 9-11 happened. And it was just like this massive rabbit hole ever since then of like, you know, following this stuff so it's kind of funny that's pretty interesting but yeah so uh okay i'm trying to think okay uh Lindsay. okay you want to pull that one up too so this is this one this is the one that's actually in a video and um you can't really see too much i mean you know it it kind of freezes there but this is this is one of the ones that yeah yeah you can you can see it I kind of thought it looked like a pumpkin. You guys see that? Yeah. Yeah, I totally do. And um, then I saw the demon, so I guess that's where my head's at. Pumpkin? Where? Well, there's like... This is the stem. Like, yeah. This is where it goes uh, in. Oh, okay. It's like a smashed pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I kind of see where you're going more. But I mean, go. okay, okay. We're kind of getting a little... Oh, yeah. a vampire. <laughs> wait, wait yeah so okay so um rob you yeah you you were we were talking about you know wh- whatever it's called when you when you see a shape in the, in the cloud you know and then they're like it's like oh yeah it's just like our minds playing tricks on us basically you know well no i mean wouldn't it make sense though that that stuff going on in other dimensions is making an appearance in this one like yeah. You know, you're we're talking about a very negative activity, like a bombing or something like that. It's very negative, so it's vibing on that level already. You're not going to see like you're not going to see God's face in there, you know. Not on something that's blowing up like that. No. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, and I think that, you know, this just kind of shows that something very dark was happening and, and that this seemed to be kind of arranged for a while. Like, I mean, and I, and like whether I, I'm not really necessarily talking about on, I'm more talking about, I guess, on a, a deeper spiritual level, you know, that it seemed like the dark forces at work here. Um, this is something that, that happened and it forever. I mean, it really did. It forever changed our country. Um, everything, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it did. Um, I think it, I think it's, it ended up waking a lot of people up to a lot of things. Um, I, I think so too. I also think if you really take a step back and think about it, a lot of stuff that's happened over the last like five or six years is not surprising in light of that. I agree. Or, you know, even you can go back even further. You can keep going back like over a hundred years where there's just been a lot of fishy stuff happening at different times and in different places in the, in the world, all the mm -hmm. way back to the French revolution. So, and, yeah. and further, but yeah, no, it's true. It's true. You know, and then the whole, um, yeah. And the whole Patriot act, which, sounds great on the surface like oh yeah protect protect like you know america and then it was it just it's, it's like that that where the, and that that that's how exactly how the tsa uh, came about you know which is so strange to this day like you can you're fine bringing weed through the tsa airport but if you bring water it's confiscated <laughs> it's a very strange world we live in <laughs> <laughs> it's like here's this water i'm drinking it actually just happened to me i forgot that i had my water in a bag which was smart water and they're like oh we have to take this and they threw it away and then like literally the next shop i like bought did you another... tell them that that I'm when like, they were throwing it away were you like that's not smart water anymore <laughs> no but I, I i i can't remember what i was just like I, I think I, I was just like, I don't understand. I still don't understand this. Like, you know, is it really about the water industry or is it, or I mean, is it more about the water industry and making money or, you know? I well, know. I, I mean, why they throw liquids away for, you know, explosive purposes or whatever. Like I do understand on the surface why a liquid is going to be more dangerous than a powder or something dry. Mm -hmm. Because it would take adding liquids to the dry powder to create some kind of chemical reaction that would cause some type of explosion. True. But, you know, I personally think all nickelback things should be confiscated when you go through the plane. None of that should be allowed in. I see <laughs> more dark smoke and faces and things when nickelback comes on. Creed. You know, it's torturing me. You know what? Somebody just somebody just brought up Candlebox on YouTube. Remember Candlebox? Yeah, actually, okay. I I, I really like Candlebox a lot. I haven't yes. listened to them in a long time. My but... brother really liked Candlebox a lot too. But I have to say, Candlebox definitely paved the way for bands like Matchbox Twenty, Creed, ah, you and might others. Be right about that, I never thought because about the, that. dude, they were they were extremely templatized mm -hmm. alternative rock. Candlebox was like, and of course they were the original, but it was like, you could have went on the road of Nirvana or Pearl Jam, which were pretty OG. Yeah. And everyone went along the, the Candlebox path of darkness, which eventually led to Nickelback. <laughs> I blame Candlebox. Wow. Maybe you're right about that. Hmm. Yeah, I will. That I have, I have left me. I'm far behind, stuck in my head right now. Far behind. That was it. Yeah, I was like trying to think of the name of the song. Yeah, actually, I, I, I remember I bought the CD. I think I got this from the, uh, what was it? The BGM, the, the Penny. Oh yeah. Thing, you know, I, I got that through that. I remember. So, I mean, I actually that CD wasn't that bad. Lindsay, pull up that that hurricane. I forgot about this. Yeah. Oh, well, play. actually, before we do, yeah. we're going to show a trailer and then we'll come back into the face of the hurricane. Oh, that's so freaky. It is. A bacterium infected a flea. A flea hitched a ride on a rat. A rat spread the black death to all of Europe. Millions dead, dirty peasants infected. Or is there more to the story? 
What if our advanced mindset of the future caused us to miss something about the past? What if something tied together every epidemic throughout time? What if people weren't just reacting to plagues, but plagues actually reacted to people? This is the first deep dive of its kind into a part of plagues never before acknowledged. You'll never look at history the same way again. So let's think about it. What exactly is a plague? Living in the future, it's easy to look at the people of the past and past judgment. But there have been numerous plagues over humanity's history and even until today. I mean, this type of look at plagues we did might be the kind of deep dive nobody has ever done before on possibly the most covered subject in history. Plagued, part one, when society falls. Only on edgeofwonder.tv. Well, you guys, that uh, plague series on Rise TV is a scorcher. Should definitely go check that out. Um, haven't really seen many people do the type of work we did on that one. That tracks back many of the plagues, some of the socio, even political things that were going on at the time and how those plagues actually rolled out. And I think these things are left to history for a reason. So, um, yeah, very interesting. I would highly recommend checking that out. <laughs> For some I hear myself that that was when I was getting over. I was like in the final phases of my COVID thing. I was <laughs> so it's like my I'm, I'm a little bit like uh, my throat is. Did you ever get COVID nineteen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, it was bad actually. You yeah. lost um sense of smell for a little while for thirty two hours at the very very end. It was like actually I, I thirty two hours. Like, did you time it? Yeah, in fact, you know what? Well, was most people would say 24 or something, but you were like very specific. Like, yeah, it was literally like 32 hours on the dot. It was like one, crazy. one and a half days because I, I was awake. I was, and all of a sudden it just kind of like came back. And I, I remember when I lost it, actually, it was right after we filmed that. I, I, I was like already, I think when we filmed, when we filmed that, I, I actually lost my sense of, Team. I remember that. I remember yeah. that. Because I, I remember driving home and I got a... I remember um, being like, Ben just probably gave me COVID. <laughs> you know, we should we should create a band called Quarterfront. And the first song should be called... Um, it should be called Another 32 Hours. Another 32 Hours. <laughs> it's all about your COVID experience. Yeah, because I, I, by that point, I was already... I just had like a cold. It wasn't like I, I wasn't feeling... I was actually feeling fine. I just had like a cold. And then... um, But then all of a sudden... Because I, I because I, I had... it, I was like really sick for almost two months straight. And that was towards the end of the two months where I, I, I was just like, okay, I'm fine. I just have this cold now. And then all of a sudden, I just lost my sense of taste. And then it came back and, and 32 hours later... So I was like, okay, at least that didn't. But I remember eating um, Chick Fil A, and I couldn't taste anything, and it was Greatest the weirdest experience feeling ever. Because like the 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 texture of the of the mush or the um, tomatoes, like to this day, I can't eat Chick Fil A with tomatoes and on it. <laughs> it was it was too gross. It, it was just weird because it, it was just like crunchy tomatoes, and you can't taste anything, and it was like. This isn't supposed to be crunchy, like the tomatoes. <laughs> and it was just like no taste. And scratch that. We need a band called Crunchy Tomatoes. Crunchy Tomatoes. <laughs> um, so okay, we gotta we gotta check out this this um hurricane. hurricane face. Yeah, so okay, so we're kind of getting into some other stuff now. Dude, this, look at that. Yeah, this is this was the recent or the uh that's a hurricane on Mordor right there. Yeah, this I think that I, hitting I, Cuba. I Where is that hitting? This is this is actually Hurricane Ian. Before mm. it, it was hitting, um, ah, uh, what? Where? Where is that? Cuba or uh, no? Dominican Republic? Something like that. I can't remember. I don't know. Is this Haiti? Haiti? Yeah, because one side's I think Haiti, the other side is Dominican Republic, right? 
something like that. Yeah. Hurricane, which hurricane was this? Matthew? This is Hurricane Ian. Yeah. Dead. yeah. Lindsay was listening to Nickelback. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh I'm wrong. Hurricane Matthews. Not oh, Lindsay. sorry. He is gloating over there. Yeah. Hurricane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it is Haiti. It's Haiti. It made landfall in Haiti. And, um, yeah, so what year was that? That was that was just recent. That was a couple 2016. Years. 20 what? 16. 16. 2016. Okay. So I was a little older than I thought. That was before we did Edge and Wonder. I was thinking I was thinking this was more recent, like the last two years or something. So no, I remember that. I remember seeing this and being like, man, that reminds me of that crazy face I saw on the earth in like 1999 or whatever. Yeah. Now, granted, this is a um, this is a uh, like a satellite image, so it, it, it you know it 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 didn't like if you, it, it, when you just look at it normally, it's just yeah, yeah, it's just a hurricane, you know. But when they did the satellite imagery of it and saw the density and the colors, so this weird. is what came out. And, and they didn't do this on purpose. It wasn't like oh, let's try to like make a face out of this. It just literally came out this way when they when they did the infrared and satellite imagery. So in that, oh, good find, Lindsay. So that guy in the right, this is the first time that they're showing it. And he actually kind of freaks out on the air. He's like, whoa, that's kind of like scary looking right there. Looks like that cloud is coming from behind him. You sure he didn't go to Chili's before this? <laughs> <laughs> He's having some gas problems. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> sorry guys that was not the hurricane that was me <laughs> yeah anyway that that i mean yeah and i think you know oh dude sorry this this oh, maybe we should save this for friday oh um save it ben okay I, okay the, there's something there's something i found that's um has to do with climate change but it's a company and oh my gosh i i i couldn't believe this was a real company so let's save it for friday so friday you guys we we're gonna have something really crazy about a company related to um geoengineering and how they are doing it and what this company is called it's insane so okay we'll talk about that later all right so that'll be for friday so watch for friday okay so um Coming back to this, then, okay, so we have this face and this hurricane, still freaky. And then the Australia f fires. Whoa. Yeah. And it looks like a demonic friar with a big mustache. I was actually looking through the Maui fires. Like Uncle Fester was there. awake on. Mm-hmm. Um. So far, I haven't really heard anything about the uh, like a face in the Maui fires, but this is from the Australian fires. Um, what what year was it? Because there was a couple. I think this might have. This is in 2020. Actually, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's it, dude. So that <laughs> photo was taken while we were in in Australia, actually. Really? Yep. Oh, because those fires were <laughs> yeah. going on while we were down there. That's they right. were going on when we were down there. So this was taken there. Um, you know, and, you know, on the surface, yeah. Okay. Science can just be like, well, yeah, you know, obviously these things just kind of look like X, Y, Z. But, you know, I, I do think that everything, there's so many different parallel dimensions that exist. And I think that when these things, when these disasters happen, there's people that die. And when there's people that when you have deaths like 9-11, like that's why all of these things, the, whether it's the hurricane, all these disasters, um, there's going to be some kind of more ghostly image related to these. And I think that's why we see a lot of these ghost demonic things, because literally people are dying and there's a lot of destruction that's happening. And we don't really know the cause of a lot of the stuff, you know, is it like quote unquote natural? Is it, you know, related to government tyranny that are like right. literally killing people? Is it related more to, um, uh, 
more of like a satanic darker force from like a from from a higher perspective or a lower perspective or however you want to look at it you know so um yeah that's that, so i think that's why these things are manifesting this way and yeah okay you know some people will write it off as like well i think these are my our minds just playing tricks on us and we're just seeing these things but either way i think from either perspective we all agree that something evil is happening with a lot of these things yeah so, i don't know if you want to elaborate on that anymore no, Rob. I mean, that's kind of we were talking about it before right like why mm -hmm. are you seeing faces and things if there isn't that some type of energy behind it you know mm -hmm. yeah okay um okay now we got the big one <laughs> oh yeah this was 1999 right yeah so there's some um this has been hard to find the original source for this photo i remember the source okay i remember the source all right Lindsay, you want to pull this up oh we got to warn you guys this one is pretty intense now there of the earth what'd you say this is a photo of the earth taken from by one of the nasa telescopes reportedly and when this face appeared bill clinton got a hold of the photos and he sent the photos over to <clears throat> the pope and just warned him that the, the, these photos had been taken something like that and then there were articles that were published about that and you and i have pulled those up on the show on separate occasions but right In now yeah, yeah it's hard to it's, find it's been i i can't i can't find the original source where, where, wherever this was this has been scrubbed from the internet now you know i and like i a can't dying dog man what'd you say it looks like a dying dog man yeah, it's really freaky scary I, and i know we have talked about this before in the past and i and i can't even really remember all the details um there's a okay so th there's a astronomer named richard um gordlum who is a real guy. And he had a quote about this. This is what I cannot find anywhere. I, I spent so long looking for this. And the problem is, is that if, if there's a website that was taken down or an article that was taken down, um, it's not going to show up on a Google search anymore. But his quote was, and this, this was originally I found on a, on a website and, um, uh, that that was compiling all this kind of information. And it says, quote, NASA calls the image a coincidence, but I call it the devil about this specific image. You might see an elephant in the clouds and I call it a coincidence. You might see a rabbit and call it a coincidence, but you don't see a 12,000 mile long image of a satanic evil covering half of the planet and call it a coincidence. This photo supposedly was is like so so there's certain it, you can't even find this photo on anything. It just says that face thing. I can't even figure out re really there was a there was an article published with that on it. It's the only thing that was ever published and it was pulled very quickly. Most things will say this is just debunked like it's just a you know it's like a tabloid. Yeah, that that's right. Yeah, tabloid from from this thing. And it was just right. like a, a fake article and blah, 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 you know. And I mean, it's it is. Uh... Best we can tell for everybody at home who's like asking this happened. This was a real photo and this was sent over. Now, you're never don't even try to ever convince a flat earther that this photo is real because <laughs> they're not going to agree. Say. It's like. It's like a person who's in love with Nickelback. You're not going to convince them that Nickelback is not good. So this, the best that we can tell, this actually happened. It was sent over to the Pope by Bill Clinton at the time. A lot of that stuff was taken down. Um, like we can't find it or it's just, it's, it was so old, it's hard to dig up. But I'm sure maybe even by Friday, we'd be able to dig, dig it up and, and, and show you guys. And 1999, there were a lot of things going on in 1999. Um, I mean, Nostradamus had a lot of stuff that he even predicted that was going on in 1999. Comet, I believe, was actually even supposed to hit 
the earth at that time. It didn't by the grace of you know who. So there's a lot. There's a lot about this that is weird. Yeah. Okay. And and the thing is, like, even if this was, let's just say it was published in the tabloid, and and you know, and and people can be like, well, yeah, you know, it's like, what what is that? What is that one that, that's always publishing the the face of the the Bat Boy? <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, the Star. I don't know. I don't know if it was the Star or weird. It's weird something. It's like strange what? weird news or weird, weird, weird daily news, news or weird weird news weird world world of the weird or something anyways whatever got it right it here is. yeah that thing whatever that is we weekly world, world news. news you know obviously this thing is like i think we need to have john remote view this to see its authenticity i i agree with that you know because it's like okay even you know and here's my understanding with a lot of these tabloid things right it's like a lot of them is just like fake makeup made up whatever but then you know and then the ironic thing is like men in black you know that at the end of the movie they're they're taking all the tabloid newspapers because they're like oh yeah this shows the truth you know there's so much in those related to like Roswell and there's like real stories of people being abducted in these things, because at the time that's, those are the only things that, that these stories were being reported in a, in a lot of instances because, um, you know, major media wouldn't really necessarily talk about, uh, you know, alien people, people abducting, you know, and then if they did, it was like people were being ridiculed about it. Dude, whoever was creating the covers yeah. for these, like, I want to shake their hand. That is great. Alien stole my husband's body. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, it's that famous photo. My grandparents had that photo up in their house. What was that That painting of the, the woman with the man in the... I can't remember the name of that painting. It's like American <laughs> Gothic. American Gothic, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so... I, I mean, okay, and, and hyper, even if even if that thing is like, I feel like there's so many things wrong with it. Like that that painting is almost as disturbing as the faces in these clouds. Like that woman looks miserable, and that guy looks like he hates himself. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pull that up again, Lindsay. She's getting the full body here. My. Oh. There's still something I really like about this painting, but it's pretty disturbing. This is the one about the uh, that we we were talking about the Mandela effect because I always remember it being his daughter, and it turned out it's his it's his wife, man. It's his wife. No, it's a, oh, no, no, the other way around, right? It's his daughter, and this is and, his daughter. Yeah, that's not his wife. Yeah, no. that's it. Well, maybe that's true. I always thought it was his wife. But I never knew. I just just always assumed that when I walked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Like everyone remembers it's the farmer and his wife, but now it's the daughter. And dude, I, she's it, really old to be his daughter. Yeah, that's uh, the whole thing I mean, is just weird. Too, but... And then and then people also like we were talking about this on one of our Mandela effect things, and they remember them both looking straight, not her looking off to the side. And then her... do, we need to do a Photoshop of of us on those characters. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Yeah. Oh man. Sorry. Call it American Wonder. Bless you. Nice. Hey. Yeah, I turned off my mic there, so nice. you would never hear me like be like blah. But okay. Anyway, um, you know, and okay, going back to this, this like crazy image of this demon thing on the planet or whatever let's i mean even if this is like over exaggerated you know or if, or supposedly there there was like a face that that did look like it um or or like the photo of earth that was like darker in in nature in 1999 or whatever but you know you you can look at like what was going on in 1999 too and, and talk about it from that perspective so i mean most of us all thought, well, I don't, I don't want to speak for everybody out there, but <laughs> we're kind of like, you know, is the world going to end in 1999? I, I know that's what I was thinking about um, quite a bit. And I, I remember actually, I was like at this massive party for 1999. Oh yeah. And, um, 
and and I, and I, I kind of knew before that anyway. I'm like, ah, you, you know, I, I really don't think like the world is. It's like, how can the world end? Like, how would the no? How would even the world know to end? Like it, you know, December thirty first. Ben, ben. <laughs> I need to take you back to 1999 here for a second because yeah. you had the concern of dying in 1999 the entire year, but then. The entire year of 1999, we were ramping up for Y2K, which was going to destroy us in 2000. Right. That, well, that that's what everyone was like. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, that's right. Yeah. That was part of that was part of it because it was like, oh no, and and um, you know, at the end of 1999, yeah, it was like, what what's going to happen with Y2K? And uh, there was some things that happened with that, but you know, the world didn't come to an end, obviously. But um, but you know that but the other aspect was was um nostradamus who had that who who yeah. his in, whole thing was like in 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 um in eighth month or ninth month 1990 or no seven seventh seventh month, month 1999 1999 a great reign of terror comes from the right. sky and mars rules um mars is ruling or something like that i can't remember the exact quote right and um you know, one of the things, so then if you look into, okay, what happened on, you know, July, 1999, well, um, that's the year that the, uh, or that's the month that the persecution of Falun Gong started in, in China. China. Right. You know, and then like one aspect, some people have s s uh, speculated like Mars ruling could be Marx and Marx and communism and how like communism was essentially taking over. And that same year, that was the same. Well, okay, I could be wrong about it. Was either 1999 or 2000. It sounds like Marx, but then also like Mars sounds like Marx, but Mars is also the god of war. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point too. Yeah, yeah, that that's the other aspect. And, and Mars is the red planet, and red is the color of communism. There's just so many in, different things in China. Yeah, and and then it was either 99 or 2000, which is the year that Clinton brought in. Um, they signed the um, World Trade organization for china and that brought china in and then china took over the entire world trade market and um yeah so if that didn't happen yeah it was one of the it was one of the worst mistakes that i think bill clinton ever made with china or made in general oh, yeah well in, in in a sense of a global economy aspect mm -hmm. of things you know um bringing china in and uh yeah, it was. I mean, they it decimated an American economy after that. So, all right, um, we're gonna show another trailer, and then we'll start talking about. Okay, we're, now we we we're talking about a lot of like earthly things. Now let's go to space and show some cool space stuff. All right, let's more positive it. stuff too. Good. <laughs> what has hooves? A goat's head bat wings, and a forked tail. It's the Jersey Devil, the mysterious cryptid that haunts the forests and skies of New Jersey. But this beast has a story beyond legend. Locals actually claim to be descendants of the original Jersey Devil. What unexplainable things have happened that would convince anyone this creature is lurking in the shadows? Why were Ben Franklin and Teddy Roosevelt part of the story? What kind of devilish winged lizard beings are really hiding out in the cosmos? Are all claims of the Jersey Devil just a hoax? It's time to crack open the edge files and pull out one of our most classified cases yet. As we ask, is this flying fiend real? Find out all about it in Tales of the Cryptids, Episode 2. The Jersey Devil. Only on Edge of Wonder TV. Ben, what's up with the Jersey Devil, man? What do you mean? You researched him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we had a, we had a whole episode about it. I know. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about it. <laughs> um, well, uh, I mean, there's this massive. There's this really old story that is 100% true from what I was looking into that um, there was a family 
that w- was from that area in um, New Jersey. And they had, I can't remember how many kids they had. It was somewhere like 11, 13 kids. And supposedly one of the last kids they had, um, she she didn't this want This was 12 it. kids and number 13 12. was coming. Right. Yes, that was it. It's been a while since we... But while the, while the bun was in the oven, she kind of said, let it be Satan or something like that. Oh, yeah, that was kind right? of... Yeah, I think that was the story. They, the, her and her husband got in a big fight over something. Some bunch of stuff happened. And then there was like a curse that was put on supposedly her 13 child and then her 13 child can't. Now, the episode outlines that story a lot better than Ben and I. Yeah, did. yeah, it sure does. I mean, like, it's sorry. It's been a little while since we since we uh, we, we we did this. I mean, because when you're like doing like, you know, a million shows, <laughs> it's got, I'm like, oh, shoot, I have to. Look, oh, dude, but, I know. But, but, like, I, I can't. I do remember that we did find all the graves for the family. We found the original home for from the original the family that it, that supposedly this has all happened with. Um, I have heard other stories out there about curses. Um, there's rumors of of like some girls that were playing around with uh, an ancient witch's. Or like a witch's Bible, I guess you could say, that had curses in it. And th- this is like an unofficial story, but supposedly they were like practicing these like hexes and curses in this book. And, um, you know, they didn't really believe that it was real. And one of them said this curse and supposedly it turned the other one into some creature. Well, and there were multiple but, sightings of the Jersey Devil too. Oh right? yeah, no, there there really is. I mean, it, it's it's just like the Mothman, you know. That the, there's a hundred percent. The origin story is a little bit like, okay, which kind of origin story do you want to believe yeah. in? You know, the other aspect is is just like some kind of like your movie. origin story has to do with the Matrix and nine eleven. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say that. Yeah. So it's kind of like, okay, is this origin story, you know, more rooted in like witchcraft and mysticism or is it more rooted in like, you know, government conspiracy doing experiments with aliens or something like that? You know, who knows? But my origin story is trying to save the world from Nickelback. <laughs> I thought you were going to say from like demons, but <laughs> are those different, Ben? I'm not, sure. I'm not sure anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I have to admit, there's a lot worse music out there than Nickelback. Though. I know. I'm just so. kidding. <laughs> but we've got some spatial face. Yeah. Okay. So the first yeah. one is a little bit dark. The rest of them are pretty cool. So I didn't even know this thing existed, but there is a skull <laughs> nebula kind of scary Lindsay's about to sing something look at that okay that is cr- wow that looks like a goblin yeah full uh, really looks like a full-on that looks skull. kind of like a gray actually with his mouth open drooling you're kind of right actually it could be either a gray or yeah really so this is actually skull Look at the crack oh. in the upper part of the eye. There's even a crack in the eye. That's so weird. It really looks like a skull. Yeah, it's a triple star system. Actually, I think we did. We might have showed this on on because it was a few years back. But it's, I mean, formally known as NGC two four six. Planetary nebula um, located about sixteen hundred light years away. From the constellation Cetus or the whale, the constellation, which is the whale. Hmm. This was shot. Um, they, 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 it was an observatory in Chile um, where they, where they um, were able to get this photo. So it's kind of crazy. This looks like a cat face or something. Like it's a, uh, I don't know, cat. Wow, they're all look this. Why do they all look the same? Well, I mean, it, 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 it it's just different lighting that they're using. Well, oh, I mean, it's, it's space doesn't yeah, change. But they kind of 
<laughs> Wait, are these all like all three of those? Like even the first one that you showed, are these all the same or is this a different? No, no, no. These are all different. Like I said, I mean, it's not going to, it's not like you take a photo of it and then, you know, a year later you take another photo and there's no, there's no, there, you're not going to see any difference. <laughs> Maybe like a hundred years from now, there might be some difference, but yeah, you know, sp you're, you're not really going to see too much. But, so wait, this changes. is all the same nebula we've shown since the beginning. Okay. Yeah. 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 All of this is the same nebula. Yeah. There's just different variations of it, but, and different, you know, different color schemes, depending on what infrared things they're using. But I think I what's like this image belongs in guardians of the galaxy. Yeah, I could see that. I think what makes it so eerie is that it almost looks like the skull crack thing. No. Like, you know, the, what I forget what those are called. Like in our skull, we have those, what the hell are those called i can't remember um there's a tech sutures or something plate. yeah the tectonic plate <laughs> <laughs> uh i forget what it's called but anyway those things in the skull like, that's what it looks like I, I should know what those are and once upon a time i did know when i was Lindsay's looking it up right yeah. now they're like yeah um coronal what does that say i can't read it yeah that's why I, I called them sutures yeah yeah that's right yeah cool i i was right <laughs> <That's> indicated <laughs> he was right okay all right now let's get to some positive stuff okay let's show some like angelic things now okay Jeez. so there's all so you know i'm really curious okay I'm really curious though, that one of the skull that must be something like, I don't know, like some kind of darkness must be there. Like you, 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 you mentioned galaxy or guardians of the galaxy. Like, yeah, that would, that would be like where Thanos lives or something like that. Right. <laughs> In this constant skull nebula. <laughs> right. right. Okay. This one, um, looks like more like an angel it looks like two wings on either side and yeah. then, you know it's just kind of your stereotypical like christmas angel with well, like even a, that bright star above like the whole thing is really interesting yeah yeah so this was taken in um 2012 nasa the hubble space station or space station space telescope took this photo and um it's called 2-106 <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Thank you, science. <laughs> it's also called a fairy nebula, and there's there's different there's different. Um, in, okay, the official I said two dash one oh six, but it's the the official name is NGC two one seven zero, and they they call it a reflection nebula. It's in the constellation Monoceros. Monoceros, Monoceros. Separate ones, Ben. I'm sorry. Are they two oh. separate ones? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was reading this. Okay, I'm sorry. The that one that we were looking at, the angel one, is that one is two dash one oh six. The next one, this one, is NGC two one seven zero. This one is called a reflection nebula, and they look at it as like a fairy or angel. So it looks kind of like a flying like an angel on its side like almost like a like a like if a butterfly when its wings are folded do, do you i mean i don't know if you can kind of see, so it's like that bright star would be the head and then it's kind of got its little dress bell dress there in the purple and then the wings kind of come up so do you see it yeah <laughs> okay so this one is really cool too it's yeah, it's kind of like a butter butterfly wings or something, you know. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Then in 2012, um, so NASA pretty much has daily updates of of images of the sun that you can see. What's really hard to find is is looking in the archive for each specific day. And I think that when something is found, I do think that they're pulling a lot of these from the site. Um, because I, I couldn't find the original video. I, I looked for a long time for this thing, but um, this, this is real though. It, it, it is from, 
okay, we're, we're going to show this, this video. This is like extremely zoomed in. So this image is, is taken right underneath the sun. Um, and this is, we're going to show, I'm going to show you as more zoomed out version of this, but that's it right there. Wow. That looks like an angel going up to like tap the sun. Yeah. So our Mothman got out this huh? thing. Yeah. And look at it. it. Seriously looked like it's flying up there. Right. That's so rad. Yeah. This thing would be equivalent of, to about, okay. If each one of those little dots would be the size of earth. Whoa. So that thing is, is like, is it I, a spaceship? What is this thing? No, I, no one knows. No one knows. It, and, it, and it appeared in this would have to be like 90, like a thousand times bigger than earth. Maybe, yeah. You don't know. Yeah. Literally. Um, because I mean, if you're, if you're looking at it compared to the size of the sun, it's massive. I mean, even, even to the sun. So this thing is not small at all. I mean, it, it, you, I mean, multiple earths could fit inside of this. So is it like a spaceship? Is it something, you know, interdimensional? Is it more something divine? And then look at it. I, I don't know. And then there, there was like a, um, some kind of smaller, coronal ejection from the sun and it looked like it was kind of going up to that and and there's a lot of the stuff on these nasa images these videos like you can find these like weird things like this there's a lot of other ones that are kind of similar in nature that almost look angelic in form that are like kind of flying up really fast to the sun so and remember a while ago, there was that cube looked like a Borg thing that was like connected to the sun and then it just shoots oh, off yeah. real fast, you know? Um, all of this stuff is officially NASA's stuff that, you know, after these things were pointed out, it does look like NASA kind of officially removed some of the stuff um, from their sites. But the original name of it is all there and multiple sources were talking about it it wasn't like major media and everything else so it, it exists it, it's not anything that was created i mean it wasn't like a fake image or anything but um so you know i i think there, it's just so cool like all the stuff that exists and then of course you have the hand of god we talked about this kind of recently oh yeah that's crazy yeah thumb two fingers like the palm is just coming up mm-hmm so cool. Yeah, this is about 230 light years across, like the size of that. And it's like it looks a lot like that. Like, look at that. Yeah. And it's 17,000 light years from Earth in the constellation Circinus, Circinus, C I R I N U S. Serenus? Serenus. Is that all right? Serenus? Sir? Lindsay, are we pronouncing this right? <laughs> Serenus, probably. Serenus? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that I don't know what that means actually, but um so yeah, NASA also confirmed that the nebula is popper uh, popper um popularly known as the hand of God. Mm. So Pretty interesting stuff. And uh, all right. Wow. We went through a lot. Okay, so there's some interesting things I found about Saturn, Rob, that we've never talked about before. That doesn't happen often. What'd you yeah. find? Yeah, so... um. Do we want to do this on where, where we are right now? Should we go over to Rise TV and talk about this? Yeah, here. Do it here? You oh, said? you want to go to Rise? Yeah, sorry. Well, no, no, I'm just saying well, because it's been an hour. So should we go over to yeah, Rise let's, TV? Let's go over to Rise for sure. Okay. And then we'll just kind of briefly touch on um, this Saturn thing and then we'll do our Q&A, you guys. So there's some really like crazy information that I found about Saturn. We, we've covered Saturn so much, but I was kind of surprised about what I found today. And then, um, so yeah, so come over and join us over on Rise TV for just uh, $9.99 a month. You can support what we do and 
support our deep dives and all of our videos. And we have so much content over there. And of course, during the Q and a, you get to ask your questions in our live chat. So come on over. All right, you guys. Well, thanks for being with us and we'll see you over on rise.tv. I didn't want to go public without evidence because I knew no one would believe me. The entire incident happened about five to six minutes in total. And my mom shouts really loud, oh my God, what is that? What is that? At no point did the two men in black or the Air Force gentleman ask my mother or her friends, what did they see? They looked human, but they did weird things. The men in black, they said, you will report it as a helicopter crash or we will take your son away. The men in black play the narrative and the media outlets skew it back out. This was 1991 Project Mockingbird in full effect. All right. Pretty cool Welcome stuff. over to Rise TV, you guys.